everyone, this is Sarah from System Dynamics, and today I'd like to go over the basics of using social media analytics. Social media analytics gather data from your social media platforms and help you analyze that data to make informed decisions about your business strategy. It's important to discuss it because understanding these insights can help you boost engagement, increase brand awareness, and even optimize advertising budgets. Let's start by talking about why it's crucial to set clear goals for your social media efforts. Without goals, it's difficult to measure success and understand how effective your efforts are. Some common goals include driving website traffic, increasing brand awareness, and generating leads or sales. We actually have a whole video here on our channel dedicated to setting powerful social media goals and strategies. I'll go ahead and link that video in the description down below. Now, let's move on to understanding the key metrics. In social media analytics, the most important metrics are often engagement, impressions, and reach. Let's take a look at engagement first. Engagement quantifies the interactions between users and your content. It comprises various elements, including likes, comments, shares, saves, and any other form of interaction a user may have with your posts. A high level of engagement indicates that your content resonates with your audience, driving them to interact and form a connection with your brand. This metric plays a significant role in the visibility of your content with algorithms favoring posts that generate high engagement. Therefore, creating content that stimulates engagement is key to boosting your brand's exposure and online presence. Impressions represent the total number of times your content was displayed on a user's screen, whether it was interacted with or not. This metric provides a bird's eye view of your content's reach and visibility in the digital landscape. While it doesn't account for user engagement or actions, it's a valuable gauge of brand awareness and recall. High impressions signal that your content is widely exposed, potentially increasing the opportunities for engagement and conversions. However, if the impressions are high but engagement is low, it might indicate that while your content is visible, it's not resonating with or compelling your audience to interact. Therefore, impressions should not be analyzed in isolation, but should be considered in correlation with other metrics like engagement and click-through rates for a more holistic understanding of your social media performance. Reach refers to the total number of unique users who have seen your content on their feed. It's a vital metric that provides insights into how far your content has traveled across the digital landscape and is indicative of your brand's potential audience size. Higher reach implies that your content is getting in front of a larger audience, enhancing the possibilities for engagement and conversions. It's important to note that reach, unlike impressions, does not account for multiple views of the same post by a single user. Therefore, when assessing the effectiveness of a social media campaign, reach should be analyzed alongside other metrics, such as engagement and impressions, to get a more comprehensive picture of your content's performance and impact. Now, it's essential to track the metrics that are most relevant to your goals, as each platform has its unique set of metrics. But to help you track your metrics, it's necessary to choose the right analytics tools. There are plenty of tools available, both free and paid, that can help you analyze your social media performance. We actually have one of these platforms here at System Dynamics called Social Dynamics. If you want to learn more about the Social Dynamics platform, you can check out the link to our website down below. Now that we've talked a little bit about tools, let's dive into analyzing your performance and making data-driven decisions. The first step is to regularly monitor your metrics to identify trends and patterns. For example, you might notice that videos receive more engagement than text posts, indicating that you should create more video content. As you're gathering insights, you should be using them to tweak your strategy. If you notice that certain types of content or posting times lead to better engagement, start implementing those changes into your content plan. Now to make this process easier, here are a few tips and tricks. Set a regular schedule for analysis. Setting a regular schedule for checking your analytics can help you keep track of your progress and make adjustments as needed. Whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, find a rhythm that works for you and stick to it. Trust me, a little bit of time spent on checking your metrics can go a long way in helping you improve your social media game. The next tip is to benchmark against your competitors. With social media analytics, you can compare your performance to that of your competitors to gain insights into what's working well and what needs improvement. By tracking metrics like engagement rates and follower growth, you can understand where you stand within your industry and adjust your social media strategy accordingly. Are your competitors consistently outperforming you? Take a closer look at their content, messaging, and audience to identify opportunities for improvement. Next is to test and optimize. 
Before you can truly optimize your content, you need to start testing it out. Try different formats, visuals, and messaging to see what performs best. It's important to not only pay attention to the likes and shares, but also the more nuanced metrics like engagement rates and click-through rates. With trial and error, you can fine-tune your social media strategy and create content that truly speaks to your audience. Social media analytics are crucial for understanding the effectiveness of your social media efforts. By setting clear goals, understanding key metrics, and choosing the right analytic tools and making data-driven decisions, you can optimize your strategy and make your social media presence even more impactful. And remember, small changes driven by data can make a huge difference. That's all I have for this week's video. If you found these tips helpful, make sure to subscribe to System Dynamics for more content on how to improve your digital presence. I'll see you next time. Bye.